My name is Sam Baknin. I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning, and this is my latest update on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict dated October 20th, 2023. Many on both sides of the aisle, both sides of the conflict, are now saying that the only solution to the conflict between the Palestinians and the Israelis that has been going on since 1882 is ethnic cleansing by one of the peoples involved, perpetrated against the other. There's been a radicalization of the street in both Palestine and in Israel. Both parties maintain maximal positions and victimhood, grievances. Both of them insist on possessing 100% of the territory of Palestine, Israel. Currently, Israel is poised to exact revenge on Gazans for the October 7 atrocities and to destroy the Hamas. But Hamas is the symptom, not the disease, which is the Israeli occupation. If Israel is successful at eradicating it, another resistant, another resistance terrorist organization will take Hamas's place. Same applies to Hezbollah. Israel is a paper tiger. Its army is in bad shape, similar to the Russian army. Should Israel be confronted with aggression on several fronts, Lebanon, Syria, the West Bank and Gaza, Israel will be defeated. The Americans are aware of Israel's frailty. This is why they are moving military assets into the region. Iran's involvement may lead to an escalation of this local conflict to a regional one akin to Vietnam. And in the meantime, both parties commit war crimes against civilians regularly. Terrorism is indistinguishable from state terrorism. We need to remind ourselves time and again. There is a high chance of Hezbollah involvement in the conflict, owing to Israel's disproportional reactions to Hezbollah's initial provocations. Syria may also support Hezbollah sporadically. But I doubt that this conflict will involve any other actors in any meaningful way. The Palestinians have alienated literally all their supporters over the years. They are politically, diplomatically and militarily orphans, pawns in the hands of the likes of Qatar, or Qatar, Israel and Iran. With China's acquiescence and then help, Russia transformed its invasion of Ukraine into a proxy war with the West. This led to an escalation in conflicts along the fault lines between East and West all over the world, including in the Middle East and soon in Taiwan. We are in the throes of a global realignment of power, similar to the period of the 1950s and 1960s, when the West tried to contain the USSR and Communist China. But the United States is polarized and paralyzed. It has no budget even. It can barely support with military aid more than two conflicts at any given time. NATO is underfunded and undertrained, as Ukraine is going to find out very soon. The West is not a reliable or a long-time long -time ally.